Level one, Tail Cave. Ah, I'm LP Master Six. That's right. Still the stupidest name ever, and I was really going to change my name. I'm trying to save. There we go. I didn't show you to save in the last one. You hold down A, B, start, and select, or in my case, Y, A, B, and start. But I was going to end it off that way last time. Oh, well. Okay, well, let's start out, our, start out our first dungeon. This is a hard hat beetle returning from a link to the past. And once you get rid of both of those, you get a small key. Ooh. And these guys, which I already mentioned briefly that I don't know the exact name of. You got the compass. Now you can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. Well, how nifty is that? I won't be able to hear the tone, but it doesn't matter. I think that's because a lot of uh, rooms have keys that aren't in chests, like that room. Which is kind of different. I don't know if that happened at all in A Link to the Past. I have a tendency to take these new mechanics for granted. Because, you know, I've played all the earliest games so many times that the oldest... or Some of the mechanics that are still from old games like this one aren't old in comparison to like Zelda 1, 2 or A Link to the Past. I always want to call it Zelda 3. I know a lot of people do that same thing though. Uh, now, this is an interesting instance and I think the first in the series. We cannot do anything about that the whole time we're in this dungeon. Isn't that crazy? Well, I think it's crazy. Thank you, everybody. Uh, do you want me to upload any music videos of me singing Gnarls Barkley? God dang it. Forgot to swap off my magic powder. Because if you don't swap off, you know, uh, an, a limited numbered item, you will end up using it. Like a bomb and blowing up something you don't want to. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to regret it if... Okay, this is a spark, actually. Not a, uh... Not an anti-fairy. That's a spark. They're very similar things, but this is, I think, the only game... Maybe the Oracle games where they do too, where they appear at the same time. But, uh, a spark is actually an enemy, technically, from... Donkey Kong Jr. and Super Mario Bros. 2, even though most people do not credit it as a Mario enemy appearing in this game. Oh, because it is a Nintendo-wide enemy and a generic one. Anyway, we've got the map, so let's look at it. Oh boy! Look at that inventory. Bananas, a secret seashell, three keys. <laughs> map, compass, and voila. Uh, all of the dungeons in this game, with the exception of one, make a shape. This one is shaped like, um... I don't know. <laughs> Normally whatever it's named after, but honestly, I have no idea. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and go in here. Couldn't hurt, right? Okay. Wait, do we still have a guardian acorn in effect? I don't know, like I said, I can't hear the music too well, so you guys are going to get sick of all those songs. Okay, thank you so much, Spark. Oh, I love this enemy. This is a three of a kind. Okay. Yeah, first try, baby! Hoo-wee! Something is inscribed on the stone slab, but you can't read it because a piece is gone. A piece? You found a fragment of a stone slab. Now you can read the message on the wall. Okay, this big powerful TV that I have now. I gotta keep it turned down because it shows up on the video. Or not the video, the audio. My commentary. How's that video doing over there? I'm gonna not be lagging out. I'm gonna be PO'd. Uh, let's go this way. Ooh, can't do anything here yet. There's no point in killing that guy. Actually, I can't kill him right now anyway. <sighs> oh, enemies respawn so quickly. Oh, that's good for rupees, but like I said, I'm obsessed with rupees for no reason because they're so easy to come by. 
And you don't need any of the things I want rupees for. Classic blade trap or spike trap or whatever you want to call it. What's the... Oh, you're supposed to push that up to block the spike trap. Blade trap. I'm just going to call it... No, I'm going to call it a spike trap. That's cooler than blade trap. I don't know. Blade just reminds me of somebody whipping out a knife. Like, you know, like, look at this sick of blade I got. And I'm like, I have to be like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. When it probably is, but, you know, it just reminds me. I probably don't have mutual interest with this person. I don't know. That's a bit of an overgeneralized, incorrect statement. Oh, that was cool. All right. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Okay, I like how the stone slab piece... Like, we just slap it into every single stone slab and it finishes it? How does that work? I've never even thought about that before. Guess that's why they changed that in the remake. And these! Mario enemies! Goombas! You know them. You love them. You can kill them with a sword, but they don't drop a heart. If you jump on them, they drop a heart. When I say jump on them, I clearly meant fall on them. Ha <laughs> ha! This is a Zelda game. You can't jump. But how do we get that? I lied! You've got the rocks feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. This is the best item in the series. Oh my god. Jumping in a Zelda game. I mean, sure, in Zelda 2 it made sense, but this is an overhead... And according to Aonuma Isometric Zelda game, I is this isometric? I really don't think it is. Wait, hold on. Do we... Okay, that's just to go around. But yeah, we can cross gaps now. We can do a whole plethora of things that we could not previously achieve. Oh, I was going to talk a little bit about how I'm sorry for the low quality. I mean, I know all my videos have been of this caliber... Uh, but, you know, I just got so impatient. Honestly, the reason I decided for March, by March, is A, that's when I planned out to have the computer. And since my original goal when I restarted the channel last time was to... This is where the three of a kind is, isn't it? No, that's where that is. We're not going there yet. Where are we? Wait. The boss is that way. We're not going that way. We're going this way. Okay, since we got a ton of keys, it works out. Uh, oh, you've got the Nightmares key! Now you can open the door to the Nightmares lair. Obviously the equivalent of the big key, but or from A Link to the Past, but with more theming. I love, I love a good... It's just the little details you don't really notice that make all the difference in... A game like that. Just calling it the Nightmare Key. Way better than just calling it the Big Key. It just really shows they're, they're going with the theme of sleep for this game. Spoilers, Link wakes up. But is it a spiritual awakening? Or a boring literal awakening? I had my own spiritual awakening. And, oh, I'm just having a good time. Because I really thought about playing games differently, but, I, you know, I set this particular order of games for a reason. It is the most fun for me to play. I guess I should show this while we're here. Mm. Take a drink of that sick water. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's just a warp. They didn't have those in A Link to the Past, right? Or am I crazy? What's down here? Another nice secret Zelda room, I bet. Nope. Disturbing. Horrifying. Rated E for, actually, back in the day. Rated K-A, kids to adults. Now, on the eShop... Actually, this game's never been re-released. The remakes have, but this particular game has never been re-released. I'm not complaining, because obviously, you know... Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die to this boss! I gotta make a decision right now. Okay, if you die in this game, you miss out on a bonus ending. It's not a big deal, 
but the alter like the only way to see it if you die you have to turn the game off and go back to your save point before you died i think i'll just show you a video of the special ending if i happen to die well i didn't have a choice anyway actually you can save and get out of it i think before you're finished with the death animation so there is that but i haven't died to moldorm in forever but yeah that's moldorm straight from a link to the past everybody's favorite boss i think i'm the only person in the world who likes him Buzz, buzz, outsider. Best way to deal with pretty much anything is a spin attack. Oh, if you fall down, you go to that room where people are being ha hanged. So, okay. Well, I guess we'll demonstrate that. Oh, and he resets all of his health, but you don't. And you can't possibly have more than three hearts at this point. So, you know, kind of a difficult first boss. Probably the hardest first boss in the series so far. Who was the first boss in A Link to the Past? I can't remember. And for people telling me, like my old buddy Cody, who, uh, you know, has re-entered my life more than I expected on occasion. I really didn't think he was gonna show up to the wedding, but he did, he was a groomsman. So I ended up with six groomsmen because I had a backup to replace him. Cole, I had my niece, my dad, Grant, who I talked about before, Cole, who's been on my channel before, David, who I've mentioned a million times, but he hasn't actually been on my channel. This is going to be awful. I haven't played this game in so long. I've already died twice. Okay. Because I've been playing the 3D games mostly. Well, that's not true. I've, I played an easy 2D game, and then I played a 3D game of Zelda lately. But, you know, it hasn't even been that- Oh my fucking god! And you have to see this text every time! <laughs> oh wait, I had a strategy for this. And it's failing miserably. I feel like he just targets me, and then you're off the edge! I've never gotten this frustrated or taken this long on this boss. <laughs> I swear. You can ask Galen. We recorded this boss before. Okay, my strategy is just no longer spin attacks. I got overzealous with trying to do extra damage. I love how the hearts are blue. They couldn't make the, uh, I guess the ugly, the, I guess the ugliness would have shown in the, if they did the background blue instead of red. So I like this color scheme. You've got the full moon cello. Does that song sound familiar? <coughs> <coughs> Wrong pipe! Oh, my water! <coughs> Swap. <coughs> A pack opens in the blooms. <coughs> okay, great. I thought it's an instrument of the sirens, I have to admit at first I did not believe you were real, that instrument, along with the seven others in the set. Hey, we get the MacGuffins revealed, and we're gonna wake the wind fish. We gotta get them, we gotta catch them all. Okay, he was instructed to give us directions. The Punga Swamp, we've been there. Well, let's head to it. It hasn't even been 20 minutes, so we're gonna keep going. And now, on the way to Tail Cave, you might have noticed I went into my inventory for some reason. Because I was instinctively trying to jump over the gap with the rock's feather, but we didn't have it yet. Okay, it's a cool item, a cool name, it, and you can jump. <laughs> this is awesome. Man, we still don't have enough rupees for the next rupee-related thing. I just gotta remember not to forget that on my list. Alright, what else do we need to do? Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then, it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the m m m Moblins. So, I mean, ha ah, ah. It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. 
All right, thanks, boys. We're good kids, but Paul should be proud. <gasps> Where's Bow Wow? It's Terrible! <laughs> it's Terrible? My Bow Wow was dog napped by M M M Moblins! Oh! Ah! Please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow! Thank God I don't have neighbors. Oh! Ah! Please, somebody help! Is not something very good to say when you have neighbors. Ah, thank God for a long driveway and fields of crops next to your house that give you horrible allergies, but not in the winter. Ah, let's not go talk to anybody else in town. That's useless. Have we, we haven't been in the shop yet. I'm going to show you the shop. Did we even get that on our map? Stop it. Stop it. It's not the button I wanted. It's the trendy game. We went there. Wait, what is wrong with me? Where's the shop? It's up here, right? Yeah. Okay, it just doesn't say that on the screen, I guess. Hey, welcome! See something you like? Just bring it here! No thanks, buddy. Okay, do you have to say anything new? Oh, Link Terrence taking a nap at home. I don't know how he can sleep on such a nice day. It makes me want to sing a song. Yes, the song is Ballad of the Windfish. We heard that one before. Thank you. Well, I guess we can go talk to Tara and see what's up. Okay, she lied to me. She's <laughs> or he lied to her. <gasps> what a twist. Okay. Well, we're just going to go up to the swamp then. Now, this game's decently short, but for a 1993 Game Boy game, it really packs a punch. And also, Metroid 2 had alright graphics. Its graphics were pretty good. Pretty aight. But, you know, and they were a big improvement on Mario Land and... Oh, well, we already saw Mario Land 2. I forgot. You know, it's been so long, because I'm used to, like... I'm, I'm wanting to create the experience of experiencing these games in this order, you know, like to see Nintendo's full history. Of course, not their full, full history. I still haven't played every series that I want to play, but we're just starting out with the most flagship ones and, you know, uh, my favorite series, the Earthbound series and F-Zero. Not really flagship anymore. Of course, arguably Star Fox isn't, but still. You got a piece of heart! Okay. Hmm. Well, we jump up here. Oh, yes, that is what we're supposed to do. You're supposed to get that. The windfish in name only, for it is neither. I love those owl statues. Oh, these are not actually moblins right here. The lighter ones without fangs, they're called pig warriors. I think they're pretty much identical in gameplay to the Moblins, but I'm not sure. Tama Ranch Mountain and Gopanga Swamp. Well, what we actually need is down here. Eh, who's the suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. A sword, Moblin! And, wow, okay. <laughs> I love how they walk very slowly around the room. As if they're that's gonna get me. Did they not hear the guy? Like, did they not see me? And this is our first mini boss outside of a dungeon. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. I think this also took Galen a long time to figure out, but you know, you can ask him in Link's Awakening DX, because I'm sure he'll join me for that one since he has decided not to move to New Zealand for a good long while, if at all. In case you don't remember, his original plan was to go to New Zealand. But of course, you may have never watched my other series, and if you haven't, I'm sorry I'm referencing so much that you don't care about. But you know, this is black and white Link's Awakening. Well, okay, not really. This is not black and white. This is red, green, and blue. The classic Game Boy colors. You've saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast! And we get Bow Wow with us. He is like... 
Oh, well, I guess Zelda would be our first party member. Maybe the monkey in... I can't remember a Link to the Past that well, to be perfectly honest. Good God. That is a fearsome-looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in the Gopanga Swamp. Thank you, I'm good for now. Telltale Heights. Oh, is this where... Yes, it is. Okay, this screen is a very interesting screen. And it, there's something different here in every version of the game. And in this version, there's nothing. It's a useless screen. But I'm not going to try talking too much about the superior versions of the game. Because this one is still very playable, very good, and actually surprisingly challenging. Okay, I think these crows are called Dactos. If I'm wrong, correct me on that future me. But we are in... What, are they, what is this place called? Tabal Wasteland. I knew it was something waste or wasteland. What's over here? Ooh, I'll take it. Sorry for your ears, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this is probably... This is a guinea. You might remember them from Zelda 1. It is so satisfying to hit these guys when you have a piece of power. Because they, as always, take a million hits. And if you kill the original, you kill the other one. Same as always. Oh, I'm saying it like I'm complaining. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, gee whiz. This is a giant guinea. Can we kill him? Oh my god, we might not be able to kill him. But we can send him flying. Okay, not this screen. Uh, I've got very vague notes written that I was supposed to remember. There's a zombie. I think they always die in one hit, but they infinitely spawn, so... Oh, man. The game cannot handle this. I can't remember. I think it's when you take a certain amount of hits, the piece of power in the Guardian Acorn, or when you go into a certain area that they run out. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, you're not supposed to be able to do this yet, but, you know, you can very easily. You've got a piece of heart! You collected four pieces of heart. Now you have a complete heart container! Woohoo! There's only, what, 16 pieces of heart? Oh my god, this rock has many cracks. There must be some way to shatter it. Thank you. Good. And this takes me out somewhere. <gasps> oh! oh! Yeah, oh, we can't do anything with that right now. I forgot about this. We can get this early. In case you just saw what dropped from that guy. Bombs. We just got bombs. That opens up so much, but we've got, like, no bombs, so... I thought they spawned... I don't think they spawn from regular enemies until you kill, or until you beat the second dungeon. But you can always get them if uh, Bow Wow eats a hard hat beetle. Okay, why am I killing these guys? I'm gonna die if I keep screwing around. I think there's, no. Uh, we could get other stuff with bombs, I think, maybe. But we are good for now, so let's not. And say we did. When I was a kid, I thought that expression was so rude. Because it's lying. Why would you want to lie? I like honesty. <laughs> this is such a good commentary. Uh, oh my god, so I made, like, the best spaghetti with my wife. Like, everyone complains when they try my spaghetti, because the way I like it is really bland. I like bland spaghetti. Yeah, we do have to go back all the way around for this. Oh well. Get to see more of this fine, beautiful game. I'm not gonna complain. People complain so much about backtracking, but I'm happy to just be sitting here with a controller in my hand mindlessly. Uh, oh, I can tell you the kitten's name. I was talking about spaghetti. That's way more important than my children and grandchildren. Uh, yes, I call my cats my children and grandchildren. Okay, I'm, I'm a vegan and an animal rights guy. 
So, if you're annoyed by that, then you're kind of a douche. You know? This is my channel. You can GTFO LMAO. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What's up here? So, uh, man, I just pour Italian seasoning in that spaghetti. All it needs is some fake meat instead of lentils, but that's kind of expensive. And we'll be good. Let's not explore this right now, because we're going to explore it later. So what's the point? We're going to the swamp, baby. You might remember it said keep out except Bow Wow. Oh, put those, uh, oh, when the shark fish things come back on screen, put those on screen. This is just called a Gopanga flower. This one's a giant Gopanga flower. Now the fish name. Oh, I remember it. They're called piranhas. That's it. Okay, come on. Bow Wow. Come on. You cannot control him, so you just have to wait for him to eat. The Okay, well, let's try that again. Thank you. Someone is snoring. Okay, so we got this... Our friend Alex, who we played D&D with, gave us this cat bed that his cat didn't like. And all of our cats love it so much. So there's two cats in it right now, and they're snoring. Oh, uh, here we go. You got 50 rupees. Very nice. Oh, man. That means I can go back and do this stuff now. Oh, well. The rupee cap is 999, so we are good. Let's go. Can't take Bow Wow into the dungeon, sadly. Level 2 Bottle Grotto! And you already know what happens if you push a bottle, but... Actually, it's... I don't know, they're called bottles and pots. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Now I'm going to do what I should have done last time. I almost forgot to stop the video. <clears throat> I'm LP Master 6. So my other name I was going to go by is Beefy Fabric, but I've already got so many videos and subscribers, and really it was the comments you guys left me. You know, like, can't wait to see what you do next. Or, you know, I, it's glad to have a few fans, and I like that feeling. I'm not giving that up and starting over again for no reason. Even if my older videos suck. You know, I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and I would like this goes out to all the fans and the soldiers and Galen. I love you guys. <laughs> See you next time for the Bottle Grotto!